Hello everyone, my name is Jordan, also known as Scraps. Today I will be guiding you through this classic 80s dream keys. This synth is kind of unique because you can do a lot with it. You can do staccato, you can blend all the keys together, even just the reverb on this makes the, uh, the synth pretty powerful. And I'll play you a demo example of the synth in action. And then I'm going to start messing around with the parameters that I've programmed up front to give you a full spectrum of what this synth can do. So let's have a listen. Now for a little bit of a solo treatment and then we'll get started on how to make this wonderful patch. So there's a lot you can do with this synth, and it's quite powerful, so I'm sure you guys will put it to good use. Anyways, what I love to do when I start off with a blank reason is I like to create a combinator to make everything all nice and tight. Now what is a combinator? Well a combinator is just a rack that you can store infinite amounts of effects and instruments until your computer explodes. Anyways. To get this combinator, I'm going to right click and go to my utilities and create combinator. There are many different ways to get this. The easiest way to do this is by pressing F8 and going to the utilities. This window will pop open and you can just drag a combinator right out. Another way of getting a combinator is holding down control and left clicking in order to get the same menu as if you were right clicking. Anyways, what we're going to do is start off with that blank instance of Thor. Now, what I'd like to do with this Thor synth, it's not even in the box. Make sure that when you right click inside the box, it's actually in the box. My bad. Anyways, for this blank instance of Thor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up my PW all the way to 127. I'm going to turn my second oscillator on. We're going to turn it to an analog. We're going to take it to a saw, leave the PW where it is, and boost it an octave. After this, we're going to create a multi oscillator. We're going to turn this amount, the detune amount, to zero. We're going to take the detune mode to fifths up. And we're also going to push this up to octave 5. Turn the tune all the way. I think that's positive 36. It sure is. Now, let's see. Ah. One of the key things I forgot to do is uh, I love to mess with tunes. In order to get this tune synth 
to sound right, we have to mess with the tune. So oscillator two, our tune amount is at is plus twenty two. Let's see what is our tune amount for our first oscillator. It's fifty. Or all the way to full. <laughs> After this, we're gonna go to our filter, and instead of low pass ladder filter, we're going to take it to a state variable filter. Now this is one of the things we will program in our patcher and actually uh, let's do that after we created everything. So after this I'm just going to turn on chorus and delay. And the delay I don't mess with anything. Same with the chorus it's fine just just by itself. Anyways for the attack uh, not the attack, but the amp and envelope. We want to turn our decay all the way up. Well, I'm sorry. Our decay needs to be about one. Let's see, it should be 159 milliseconds is good. Take our sustain all the way down to negative infinity. And boost our release to 180 milliseconds. This is what uh, gives us our staccato sound. For our source one, we're going to take our filter one and do a hundred percent on the attack envelope release. So amp, I'm sorry, not attack, but amp envelope release. At least I think I'm, yeah, that's what it is. So we go to amp. I, I don't know. I'm able to select this. Oh, here we go. Amp envelope release. Okay, now that we have that, we're going to do a little bit of programming. So I'm going to open up my show programmer. I'm going to click on Thor. I'm going to choose my rotary one to be the filter frequency one. So I'm going to go to filter and choose filter one frequency and I'm going to name this one F1 freak for our button one we don't get that until the reverb but for our button two we can say this as the delay on all we need to do is select button two and go to our effects turn on delay I'm sorry, click on delay and it'll already me already automatically import the values for us. After this, we're going to choose our rotary two and we're gonna do the amp release. Amp envelope release, I'm sorry. And we're gonna call this sustain. So I'm actually gonna prep this button as chorus reverb. That should do it. So after this, we're going to create from our studio effects an RV7000 advanced reverb. We're going to plug it in to view a little bit more options. We're going to take our diffuse level, if I can find it, all the way down. Let's make it about 22 or so. What this does is it squashes all, our, all of our signals and instead of having left and right, it mixes the signals really fast and kind of creates kind of a uh, like a room rever reverb but it, it kind of spreads it out much farther, much more evenly. We don't want that. We want to hear all the little plucks and everything so I'm gonna turn the diffuse to 22. I want to change the size to about 39.6. I'm gonna take the ER right level and just bring that all the way down to 0% ER level, let's take this about 3.8 pre-delay take that to 0, mod amount make that 100% and that should be good for now um, let's go back to our programmer real quick choose RV7000 advanced reverb, choose button 1 and just make this on our master enabled now we want for our mastered enabled, it takes a special parameter. 
we want this for our min to be 2 and our max to be 1. So it bypasses and doesn't turn off. So we'll remove the programmer. We don't need to see any more of that. After this, I think, aha. So after this, we're going to create a line 6 base amp found in Studio FX. Turn on compressor. After this, we're going to create a screen for distortion unit. We're going to take the damage control to 82. We're going to take the tape mode. I'm sorry, the damage type to tape mode. I've been really off my game lately. Anyways, um, for parameter 1, we're going to take this all the way to 84. Parameter 2, take that at 84 as well. And don't mess with any of the body. Now, you can do this if you have it, but it's a rack extension. It's found soft tube saturation knob. Now, what you can use instead of this is, uh, oh, geez. Um, there's nothing quite like this. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I guess you would use a parametric uh, two. You'd have to use uh, two of these and just boost up the low and min and just give the whole value a higher. Uh, uh, I guess this is like a low saturator booster. So we're going to take this to 3.4. After this, we're going to go to our studio effects and choose our M-Class Equalizer. We're going to choose Low Cut, Parameter 1, Parameter 2, and High Shelf. For Parameter 1, we're going to take this all the way down to 187 Hz. Gain down, Q all the way up. For Parameter 2, we're going to take this about 3.465. Gain down, Q all the way up. High Shelf, leave it in the middle. Post the gain about 2.3 and take the Q to 2. After this, we're going to create an M class maximizer, take off the limiter, put release to auto, and turn on self clip and the amount, and make it 127. And there you guys have it, your very own dream keys. <laughs>One last thing, we forgot to take the dry wet halfway, so about 64, and the decay to about 21. Sorry about that, um, I can get kind of carried away. So there you guys have it, I hope you enjoy this synth, it's um, quite complex to make, but it's well worth the sound. So I'll check you guys out um, on Friday for a new synth tutorial or something else maybe. Uh, thanks for joining me and I'll see you then. Peace!